Ah, cool. Somebody put Billy Joel in a jukebox. Billy Joel? This is Daft Punk. Daft Punk? I, what, what is that? What, what, that? That's not even words. What are you saying? This is Billy Joel. It's Anthony's song, parentheses, moving out. It's are exhausting. Hey, Cleveland, how'd you do that with your phone? I'm not an idiot. I use Shazam. It recognizes songs and tells you their names. Yeah? Hey, what if I fired it into it? I don't know. Be my guest. It says Lana Del Rey. Wow, how do I get this on my phone? You just download it. It's an app. What's an app? Their little program. Just drive me to the racket club. Since when do you belong to a racket club? You know, I do have a life outside this house. For example, I also write restaurant reviews for the newspaper under the name Hugh Cornwallis. Hugh Cornwallis? He's like... Super bitchy, I know. Now, come on, let's go. So what, you're gonna play tennis all day? No, I might also hit the treadmill and watch Kelly and Michael on mute with closed captioning. Off. I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, uh... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there. We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Ugh, oh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear B&B. &B. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Dog and Meg the Bounty Hunter. Holy moly, Marcy Miller. She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? At club, where frail old men come to weigh themselves in the nude. Does that say 84 or 85? It says 63. Oh, dear. How'd you get all those cuts on your butt? Wow, they allowed drinking here at 10.30 in the morning? Oh, yes, half the bathroom trash is thrown up scrambled eggs. Okay, so... Game of Rizzoli and Isles. You don't know what part I play, do you? Hey, look, you didn't marry me because of my brains. You married me because I play one of the main bad guys in Blue Bloods. Now let's just stop talking and have idiot actor sex. Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. We've got a bit of a situation, which is why I've asked Officer... Who made a bad choice? I don't know what to say, but the laws just haven't caught up to how cool kids are now. I'm sorry, but this makes Chris a sex offender. Oh, my God! Huh. Well, I'm not about to make a Batman exit right now, but has that thing always been over there? Over where? What are you doing, Peter? Ah, you look back too fast. You should just whip it out on the bus. Can't I just go on the news and tell everyone I'm sorry? Oh, I wish you could, sweetie, but the law says that as a sex offender, you have to complete a rehabilitation course. Oh, that sounds awful. It can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, pork, rum, macadamia nuts. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Okay, next, let's take a few minutes to talk about our new fake interests. Here's a clay pot I made. I've started following girls field hockey. No, come on, you're supposed to pick from the list. M Mr. Quagmire, this is terrible, and... Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. But where is this partner of yours? I don't know, he was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. <laughs> you're right. So anyway, my ex said, if you bring home one more tennis trophy, I am out of here. Well, she was gone in two days. <laughs> oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Well, I'm glad we're finally getting some practice in. Yeah, nothing like running around after eating a seafood tower. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the baseline. Yeah, baseline, baseline, right, right. He's serving to you. Get back there. <clears throat> you can't. I'm sorry, Chris, but you're just gonna have to accept that from now on, people are gonna see you as a sex-crazed pervert. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Wait a minute. Maybe there is. 
Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. No problem, Chris. You keep that chin up, huh? I will. Hey, can I ring your doorbell? No, I'd rather you... <coughs> That's why no, Chris. Has anyone seen my sandals? Yeah, no. Nobody's seen your sandals. Well, I'll just have to make another pair. Look, Chris, I know you think chemical castration is gonna solve your problems, but you have to stop taking those pills. I don't have to do anything besides get to the wind chime store before it closes. There can't be a whole store. I don't, I don't need to hear your process. Look, I'm just happy you pushed me, because now I can't wait for that tournament. I know, it's gonna be great. And I already know exactly where I'm gonna put that trophy. So the baby died? Yeah, the baby died. But look, first place. <laughs> Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. Have time before he shaves one side of his head and swoops the rest of the hair over. Why, is that... is that bad? Good early evening, everyone. I have celebratory news. With all the free time, I'm no longer devoting to onanism. That's spanking it? Yes, Peter. I have managed to redirect that energy into my studies. In fact, today I received the Kaplan... Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Warning, Mr. Griffin. Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you! I'm gonna go to your house and f your wife! You proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard? Your kids look up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog. Tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. Yeah, he took my phone to look at pictures of my friends, and he found the one you sent. I bet that caught him by surprise. Definitely. Well, I hope you know that's not who I am anymore. I do, and I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. This is not a dr 54 years. Well, at least she saw a little wang before taking that dirt nap. Thanks, you guys. I guess chemical castration isn't for everyone. I is that... is that the lesson for this week? Uh, I guess it's that or be kinder on the tennis court. We now return to Star Trek Creep Space Nine. She saw us! Warp speed! Uh, hey, you guys, you know that song, Jimmy Crack Corn? Yeah, it's me and Lois's wedding song. Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. Tell you what, Peter, I'll give you ten bucks if you drink an entire shot glass of that hot sauce. Let me see the money. Y you don't believe I have ten dollars? I think he's afraid. Am not. Prove it. Um. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of The Yankin'. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing The Yankin', the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hand owe me 20. Ew, here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. Hey, Peter, you want to earn another ten bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. I'll give you ten dollars for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh... Adrian, and you're gonna drink as much water from it as you can. Chris has Crohn's disease. Get down there. Don't, don't, don't tell us that now. I think this is how Anna Nicole Smith died. Don't make light of that. Oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. <laughs> sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. Coming up, female high school teacher sleeps with her students. Is she hot? Anyway, these types of immature, drunken hijinks are destroying our town. And if we can't trust a 42-year-old man to drink responsibly, then I have no choice but to take action. So as mayor of Quahog, I hereby raise the town's legal drinking age to 50. What? I can't drink anymore? 
What am I gonna do? What are are feeling the effects of the city's new drinking law. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. Well, I think we just have to trust our elected officials. And Goldman's Pharmacy is fully stocked on cough syrup, which goes great with ginger ale. Well, I do, Miss. There's no beer here. Let, 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 let's, let, let's, just, let's just go. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. Rhode Island's a mess from top to bottom. I tell you guys, getting alcohol when you're underage isn't as easy as Obama's daughters make it look. What? Is that true? I don't know. Hey. Is that your dog at the bar? Hey, Jerome, one more. Neat. What the hell? Why's Jerome's... Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, baby. Hey, hey, Brian, Brian, how would you like to build, build a deck right now with your buddy? Because we got hammers, the whole deal. I don't know, man. It's pretty dark out. That's okay. I'll just pull my car around and point the headlights at it. Do you know that my dad once called me a mistake? Yeah, I was just hanging out with my main man, Peter. Main man? Hanging out? Brian, he's only using you to buy alcohol. What? What is, what is that? What are, you, what are you talking about? It hasn't dawned on you that he only started spending time with you when the drinking age was raised? Come on, that's, that's not true. <laughs> ah, sure, I puked in the clean dishes shag. Drink. To drink? It's against the law for him to do that. Was Stewie in here? Was, was he in here? I, I smell his cologne. Listen to me, Brian. No more booze in this house. You're gonna get us all in trouble. Peter, we, maybe we should find someplace else to get, to drink. Yeah, I think you're right. Hi, we're here from the 80s FBI. Hey, did they move the bagels? Yeah, they're right there. Oh, my God, what the hell is that? This? This is a pointing bird. All right, I just saw a sprinkler come on, so I'm going to go bite at the water a little bit. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, some butthorns shining a flashlight on me? I meant prior to me coming up and investigating this. Oh, well, you gotta be clearer, man. I'm wait. What are you in for? I bought some alcohol for someone I thought was my friend. How about you? I threw a bottle of rum through the window of the Apple store. I couldn't remember me password. <sighs> this sucks. Oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes they let you take the good trash home if you ask nice. Last week, I got an old greeting card. <laughs> you too, pig. Well, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I can always look back on my life and say I went for it. Ugh, this seems like a weird place to even use a condom. Just shut up, Peter. I'm done with you. All right, you completely lied about why you were hanging out with me. What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. I've been in this fight. Yeah, but what difference does it make? It's the law. Nothing we can do about it. The hell is not. I bet if we work together, we could find a way to change it back. I, I don't know, Peter. Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I... Get 4,000 signatures. Eh, yeah, screw that. We're going with plan B. Threaten to kill the mayor's nephew. I love you, Dad! Peter, that's your son. Shut up, Brian! He's hugging me! <laughs> So, what exactly is your plan here? You'll see. Just follow my lead. Ooh, trick or treat. Chip with one of the best guys I know. Adam, who's at the door? Oh, hi, Brian. Hi, Peter. Wait a minute. Is that... Is that wine? Yeah. Adam just poured me a little before dinner. Wow, you guys eat late. No, Peter, don't you see? Carol's underage, too. The mayor just broke his own law. Mmm, that's a good point. Oh, all right, I'll repeal it. But only if you send me and Carol a copy of that picture. We don't have a lot of the two of us together. Brian, we did it! We got him to change the law! Just goes to show, if anybody wants a law changed, they should just go to their mayor's house. Hey, I, uh... I, I appreciate what you said there about our friendship. 
Why? To be honest, Brian, at first... Just happy that you and Brian managed to get that law repealed and that you're finally friends again. Me too, Lois. Good to have my drinking buddy back. <laughs> Yay! Everybody's happy! I love this family! I draped that over him. He was just doing it out in the... So we'll take your body back into that conga. You know you can't control yourself any longer. <laughs> Chris is still in there! Somebody save Chris! You know what? He's earned that. Now that one seemed less earned. What? We just talked to the guy who got us into this. He'll know what to do. Whoa, 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 all right, look. Everybody but Chris, just keep your pants on and let's figure a way out of this. It's the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? Well, I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? The government wants to tell you how many children you can have. What? No! Yeah, maybe Herbert can watch the kids. He seems like a responsible guy. So it would only be till Monday, and we could pay you for it. Yeah, and it's real easy, I promise. I mean, you, you've spent time watching children, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. You don't even have any friends! Hi. I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! Most of the surviving American pilots were taken to POW camps, but for some reason, they thought I was gay. So I was taken to a concentration camp. Hey there, little fella. I'm 48. This whole place is a giant mindfuck. All right, children. Your mammy and pappy asked me to look after you for the next couple days. So I want to lay down a few ground rules. No cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. Yeah! Y'all know what day it is? No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me. But I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run! It's that pervert! Everybody into my safety basement! Oh! Oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. Help me what? Clean your pool with my shirt off? Or wash your car in jean shorts? Bend over in front of you to get little bits of lint out of the rug? I know what you're about, Mr. Herbert. Free labor, and I'm not into it. He replaced my Cialis with methamphetamines. Pedal faster! I can't go any faster! Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play Crazy Snakes. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like reverse time did that kid a favor. I'm not so sure about that. Stand up! You're going to break that thermometer! What part of stay 50 yards away at all times don't you understand? Uh-oh. Your powers are weak, old man. Obi-Wan! Boy, you got here just in time. All right, let's split up and search the house. I'll go with Lois. Chris, you check the basement with Herbert. Oh, hey there, young fella. Bringing me good news today? What? Come on over here, son. Hand me the paper so I don't need to use my grabber. Mmm. 
That's a nice muscly throwing on you got there. Uh, thanks. Got a nice tip for you right here in my pocket for my arthritis. Why don't you reach in there and fish it out for yourself? Go away, Mr. Herbert. It's not me. I'm in your closet. Hey, muscly arm. Why the long face? Oh, it's this girl. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. Then you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. Ha <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. You have 113 new messages. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, mm -hmm. well, where the newspaper boy was. <coughs> Haven't seen a newspaper in a couple days. Wondering if he ever gonna come back. <coughs> Guess who? Trick or treat! Take two. Take three. Take four. That's enough. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Sorry to leave you so many messages. Just lonely here. Thinking about the muscle on paper boy. Wishing he'd come by and bring me some good news. Lighting his cigar right about. Stewie, oh. help! It hurts! Reverse the pill! Let me die! Ooh, I wish I could, but the pills were in the house, so... Yeah. Stewie! 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 How fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois and Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's gotta be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow! 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 Sorry, Cleveland, it's gotta be authentic. Stay down! Ow! Stay down! Ow! Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Shut up. We don't need you in this town. Ow. Ow. <gasps> Holy crap, what happened? Well, I think we simply found your true height. Before years of poor posture and wear and tear crushed your spirit and your spine. Wow. Mr. Griffin, let's discuss risk factors. Do you lead a lifestyle that's sedentary? Pet sedentary? I'm saying you need to strengthen your core. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. It was going to be harmless 80s fun. You killed the gopher! He's all right? No, he's not all right. We're all going to get laid? Damn it, Pete, I'll stop. <gasps> Evelyn? Evelyn? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. Escalate me. Oh. 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 Stop, wait. I want Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson back. Sorry, Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson is in the loo. Oh. Bring back that southern guy. Sorry, I'm busy watching Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson use the john. Can I talk to someone else? Literally anyone? I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I was fired by Aflac for no reason. Well, there, there was some reason. Way to kill two birds with one stone. Like this. The key to that, Lois, is big rock, small birds. Oh, and I also figured out how to achieve two goals with one action. Oh. 
Okay, but I gotta be home by seven. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. Good lord, are you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my fourth grade class photo. Lean it against a cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No, call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote, he never bothered nobody. Woo! To my last night as a free man! <laughs> hmm, unfortunate timing. Now, which one of these scumbag firemen will go after his fiance? Already happened. We're very happy. Peter Griffin, you are an idiot. You can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Peter, come on, walk over here. I'm doing something, one thing at a time. I actually can't believe they let me into heaven. They won't even let me umpire Little League games anymore. Strike two! And Ricky, you have got the best ass on this field. Hey, Chris, hey, you remember that kid you said was bullying you at school? Well, here's his head. Ah! That's not even him! That's the deaf kid! Oh, that was sign language. I thought he was trying to defend himself with terrible karate. I can't believe it. You've become a wild animal. You're like that tiger from Siegfried and Roy. Um, I think we all know the answer to this, but should I get tested? What the hell? Where's all the decorations? And a big Christmas tree. Oh, look, there's Santa. Peter, no. That's a hell's angel. What do you want? Meth? Okay. Right here in Italy. Peter, those were our passports. We don't need them anymore. Kids, I got an announcement. He's wearing a rubber. We're staying in Italy. We're Italian now. What? Are you kidding? Well, if we're gonna be Italian, I guess we should start murdering our brothers. Where are you at? You break my heart, Chris. You break my heart. What's Dad doing over there with Chris? Oh, he's telling him that he's no longer his favorite son. No! No, Daddy! 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 I didn't even tell him. He just does not like to be touched. Wow! I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! For years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Peter, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember! How the hell am I gonna quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, I think we should see other people. Okay. Uh, good. That's what I was gonna say, too. Peter, that was a private conversation. That doesn't change the fact that you want to steal my wife. Well, get your hands off me. Goodbye, terrible women. You can't fire a writer in the middle of a show. That'd be like a doctor leaving in the middle of a surgery. Help! I'm supposed to have surgery, but my doctor disappeared. Okay, Josh, this is the shot you've been waiting for. Okay, Derek, this is the shot you've been waiting for. Trust me, I bought the absolute latest issue of Archie Comics, and this is what the kids are wearing. Oh, hey, fellow teens. Wait a minute, teenagers don't have wheelchairs? No! <laughs> Wait, matters of the heart? What are you talking about? Well, 
Lois found my old teddy bear, Oscar, in the attic, and, and I'm just not sure how to handle it, what with Rupert and all. Who cares? Just play with them both. I can't do that. Oh, it'd be so awkward. Um, okay. Oscar was my... Well, he was my first, you know, and that's always exciting, but, but I've been with Rupert for so long now. Uh-huh. Most of our finances are intertwined. We've built a life together. the hell? You're alive, my friend! What? Of course I'm alive. What the hell's going on here? Brian, that car killed you. And when it did, a little part of me died as well. I couldn't live without you, so I came back from the future. Ugh, what a night. Whoo! What a night. Crazy. Uh, yes, telegram for hungover. <laughs> yes, I, I'll sign for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> How was your night, Stewie? Ugh, get your own life, bro. Get off my sack. But I can't look at this for three months, so I've come up with a solution. Put these on. Stewie, I... Hold still. There you go. You look good. You look really good. To win this game. Wait for someone else to win and steal his card. G27. Bingo! It's go time. What do we do? Sneak up behind him? Nope. He's got cataracts. Follow my lead. Bingo, bitches! Bingo. Hi, Glenn. Uh, hey, will you sign a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage? Gay marriage? Oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Oh, no, my Luna bar for women. Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. Well, Brian's a complete dick. We all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on. When are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! All right, bullies, let's keep it simple out there. Race, weight, complexion. We've got an ugly girl with braces and an Indian boy with a turban. Let's get on the board right away. I nominate Principal Shepard. Shut up, Neil, you shameless kiss-ass. Oh, hey, Stewie. Ready to go to school? Chris, my man, I have good news for you. I feel like I've taught you everything you need to know to fend for yourself. So today, you're going off on your own, and I am taking a spa day. Seaweed wrap, paraffin dip, and if I'm lucky, maybe someone squashes my bits around. Not gonna ask for it, but if it comes, I'm not gonna refuse. Ah, uh, give me one of those. You smoke too? How do you think I got to be deaf? Wasn't by eating celery. I can't quit now, Lois. I'm an inspiration to people. You know, like, like that fly who gave that commencement address. Class of 2013, as I look out at you, seeing 18 to 20 times more of you than there really are because of my thousand facet fly eyes, I encourage you to rub your front spindly hand legs together, to fly from dung pile to garbage pile, to land and tap at stuff with that weird tube thing that comes out of your mouth, and to enjoy every moment until a day or so later when a chubby woman hits you with a magazine. Who the hell got this guy to speak? Hey guys, keep it down. Day five of my imprisonment inside Chris's backpack. Isolation has proven to be my biggest enemy. If not for the birds I raise, I would be completely alone. Oh, is that right? You want to play backpack soccer again? Or backpack in the oven? You like that one? You'd kill me to be student body president? You realize you have no power. You can't override the teachers or the principal. Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. <clears throat> Come on, Stewie! Forget it! Ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! 
That was good. What else you got? I don't see your names on it. Well, actually, they're carved right there on the table. I don't spell so good. Just shut up! Just shut up! You should be ashamed of yourself! I mean, look at me! And on the same day, I'm supposed to coach those at-risk teens! Hey, nice lip! Who you been smooching, Mr. G? Your mom! Okay, who else wants to take a shot? Huh? All right, let's get back out there! Hey, Luis, hang back. You know why I'm harder on you than everyone else? Because you can take it. I see a lot of potential in you. And I have been having sex with your mom, and she's not very good at sex. All right, good talk. Now get back out there! Come on, Wildcats! Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because if I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh, my God, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you- You're gonna die alone, you dick! Oh, thank God she didn't catch the kid I hired to replace Chris. Thank you for wearing the baseball cap forward. I, I know it's uncomfortable for you, but it, it, it really sold it. Peter, you're wearing two different shoes. It's hard to argue against her. You think I'm an idiot too? Peter, you're the same guy who once thought he lost a fart. Hey Chris, have you seen my fart? I left one in the hallway about an hour ago, and I think I left my keys in it. Oh, is that it? Ah, yes. And the mystery of the missing keys has been solved. Quagmire's right about traveling. Bonnie and I went to the Virgin Islands. Did you know that not everyone there is a virgin? That's the kind of conversation starter you can pick up overseas. Yeah, you know, I was just saying, I need to broaden my horizons. You see, my wife thinks I'm an idiot. She's always making me feel small and insignificant. You know, like, like one of those British servants who's always apologizing with his cap to his chest. My sincerest apologies, my lord. I want to assure you this in no way will ever happen again. It's been an honor to serve you, and I'm hoping you'll accept my deep contrition. Griffin, you shat in my bedchamber. Again, your grace, I want to express my deep regret. While it was extremely convenient, I feel nothing but sorrow, remorse, and failure at having disappointed your trust in me. That excrement is still there. Stop apologizing and do something about it. To be sure, sir, but by way of explaining, the stool was a very dark hue, and I was advised by medical experts to save me fecal matter of such complexions as to warrant further study. But again, a thousand times, pardon. Griffin, are you defecating right now in the hall? Guilty as charged, sir, but at the same time, I'm filled with compunction. You know, we have been Cohogians lo these many years, and yet this was our first foray into the local art house cinema. What thinks you, Lois? As soon as that black guy started speaking French, I was out of it. Oh, well, maybe a silent film is more your speed. What, you mean like that internet video where that monkey goes nuts with the frog? You know, it's possible cinema is not our shared avocation. Perhaps sitting by a lake would be more to your liking. Ah, oh, Peter, that sounds wonderful. Swan Lake, that is. Ha 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 ha. Peter, I understood when we parked the car on level three. Just wake me when the black swan's going to town on the white one. Uh, what? What's going on? I want the old Peter back, and I'm gonna get the old Peter back. That idiot? He's dead. We'll see about that. Hmm, that's three part harmony. I heard that at the Philadelphia Opera. Walden, what was your cell phone doing in my bed? If I know you, it was vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> cell phones do give you that option, but I think he was implying something more risque. So, I heard you took your ex-wife to the zoo. Yeah, I wanted to give her a family reunion. <laughs> <clears throat> he holds her family in very low esteem. Almost there. Ellen, I have a boner. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God, Lois, now that is funny. Peter, you're back. Ellen, I have a boner. <laughs> I missed you, Peter. Oh, I missed you too, Lois. I'm sorry I called you an idiot. I missed you too, Lois. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Mmm, <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 
feisty. I like a toilet with a little fight in it. Please be seated. <laughs> ah, <we go! laughs> and now, the HBO original series, Boys. Hey, sorry I slept with that girl you liked. That's cool. Did you walk around naked after you had sex? What? No. No one wants to see that. Isn't this time in our lives so interesting? No. See, there you go. Absolutely you should. You know, I've always had success fighting for what I believe in, starting back when I was Roe's boyfriend. In the case of Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court has ruled 7-2 to two in favor of Roe. Yes! All right, get that thing out of there. And by the way, we're breaking up. Dear Daddy, I ran away with Chris. You're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. Oh, it's a sponsored note. I hate that. Geez, Dad, this is the first time we've ever gone on a road trip together. I thought we could at least try to have some fun. All right, you're right, you're right. I I'm sorry, Meg. All right, let's play a game. It's called Slug Meg. Every time you see a car, you slug Meg. Slug Meg! Ow! Dad, there's not even any other cars on the road. Yeah, there's a lot of rules to slug Meg, Meg. Hey, are you the lady who just dumped in the bathroom? No. So y you didn't just lose your purse? Yes. <laughs> there you two are. Where have you been? Dinner's getting cold. Ooh, sorry, Mom. We ate at the movie theater. Dad took me to see Fast and Furious 7. Did you know Vin Diesel's tank top was a producer on the movie? What about school? Skipped it. Again? I bet Diesel's not even his real name. Trust me, Mom. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what the founder of Texas Instruments said. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the future of Texas Instruments, our crowning achievement, the solar-powered calculator. Don't people use calculators inside? Get out. Quagmire? Don't judge me. Just, just, uh, very carefully cut me down. <coughs> Thanks for getting me off. That. Hey, Stewie. Hey, why are you wearing a cloak? You should go inside the house, Brian. Winter is coming. What? It's true. The dead have emerged from the Garden of Bones, and the White Walkers have been spotted in these woods. Don't the White Walkers eat babies? Wait, what? Ah! Hey, where the hell's Peter been? I haven't seen him all week. I know. Oh, wow, he's right over there. So I ordered a small soda, but they only had large cups. So they charged me for a small soda, but they gave me a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Meg. You are like a magnet for this stuff. I could listen to your stories all day. Hey, Peter, where you been all week? Yeah, come sit with us. Ah, sorry, guys. Meg and I have a big day ahead of us. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, it's nice to hang around with family. In fact, I asked Kevin to join us here today. There's my big guy. Oh, <laughs> someone found his birthday present. Wipe that smile off your face. People left Family Guy to work on your show. When your credits scroll across the screen, each name represents a life that is now destroyed. People lost homes, spouses left, kids can't go to college, and, and it's a big joke to you? Grow up! <clears throat> My show was terrible. Well, that was nice of you to help the Browns get settled. Oh, I'm not done yet, Lois. I'm gonna give my old buddy Cleveland a hand and take this moving truck back for him. Peter, you don't know how to drive a stick shift. Oh, yeah, truck drivers are so smart. It's easy, Lois. You just find them and grind them. No, 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 no! Oh, a lawn rock went in my crack. We're done! Cleveland, slam the door. Now lock all our city black person locks. Our house is also a liquor store. But Cleveland, you're my best friend. I mean, Quagmire's always so busy with sex, and Joe... Joe's just so needy. Really, am I in a good way? Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this.
We now return to Someone's Aunt Thinks Everything That Happens To Her Is An Incredible Coincidence. And so we get in the cab, and you'll never guess what the cab driver's name is. Michael! And my son's name is Michael! Oh my god! My son's name is Michael! Well, I gotta do something. She's madder than the groom was when I made that wedding toast. You know, when Turk first asked me to be his best man, I said, You're marrying her? Are you nuts? We've all done her! It's not supposed to be serious. This is Suzanne! Or, as we used to call her, Gargamel, Pigface, The Beast, Down Syndrome Jenny McCarthy, Penis Flytrap, The Final Option, Betty Kruger, or, as she will be known from today on, Mrs. Turk Mendelssohn. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Mendelssohns. You know, you're right, Bri. You're so much smarter than me. What would I do without you? Well, you know, one day when you're older, you'll realize the difference between intelligence and wisdom. Stupid dog, thinking he could change my mind. He's dumber than a Netflix customer. Want to watch something on Netflix? No, they never have anything good. We should cancel it. But I've had it since college. Netflix. It sucks, but who cares? Hey, Chris, Meg, who wants to throw the bee around with me? Brian? Whoa, who are you? Never mind who I am. Why are you so upbeat? Shouldn't you be about four bourbons into your day at this point? Bourbon? What's that? You mean liquor? In this temple? Oh, I don't think so. Well, too bad. This stuff is loaded with antioxidants. Lance Armstrong swears by it. Lance Armstrong? He's the best guy of all time. Give me that. The hell with Frisbee. I'll play with words and let my readers do the soaring. We now return to Lincoln 2, even higher voiced Lincoln. Mr. President, I feel the time has come to seek emancipation for the Negro race. I concur with the good secretary. History has given us this moment, and we must seize it. Ha-ha! Well, I'm with you guys! Lois, we need to talk. What is it, Peter? Did you or did you not fill in my Mad Libs with very literal, unfunny versions of the story? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> the man took his bike to the park. This is literally off the top of my head. The man took his rectum to the park. It's nice to be held by a guy who doesn't interrupt wedding toast to smell his belly button finger. I guess I've known Bob about, uh, 25 years. Coward! I have found you! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I, I think Meg... Oh my God, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? <laughs> Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? Glenn, would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up. Don't you judge to Mittens that way. Mittens is a member of this family. Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're going to have to change your tone. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think... It, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, I, I, gotta, I gotta get back. Oh, my God! Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. Giggity? Oh, I say that. Oh, wow, I can't even imagine what twisted, deviant act you've thought of this time. I want you to have sex with your father. What? Yep, and I'm gonna watch. Hi, Glenn. Are you crazy? No! No way! Glenn, remember, the thing we love most about each other is that we push each other way beyond our normal boundaries. Did you enjoy your stay at the Marriott? No, I did not. Everyone sees me as a woman! Oh, no! This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time. From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys. Hmm. Yeah. Peter, are you having trouble getting 
Ready? Yes, obviously I'm having trouble. Well, somebody's got to have sex with me. Lois, don't say that. Quagmire will show up like the Roadrunner. <laughs> it's okay. Your vagina's just a painted on hole. Here's your costume from the year you won as a condom. What the hell are you supposed to be? And then there was Quag Chambers. He was the leader of our gang. He had sex when he was five and committed his first rape when he was ten. Rape, of course, being legal in the 50s. Ha-ha! <laughs> Beat those cards, fellas! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> giggity giggity! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, we're looking about a four-and-a-half-hour flight time today. Uh, we've got clear skies, good visibility. The temperature in Atlanta is 64 degrees. Uh, the flight's going to be a little longer than we've expected. Uh, we've got some very strong headwinds. Giggity. Uh, flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. I can't believe Lois would cheat on me. Look, Peter, I know this is a very difficult time for you, but I, I want you to know I'm, I'm here for you if you need anything. You want me to drag my sack across your face? What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it's, I, when, when one of my lady friends is upset, that's how I, that's how I cheer. L listen, Peter, I, I, this is all I know. I'm, I'm not very good in these types of situations. Joe, hold your handcuffs over my lap. What the hell is that? Swiss Army penis. Well, Quagmire, that's incredible. Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. Should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scar them for life. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, gig, good -gig deep. What do you say we hit another bar? Keep it going. I can't. There's a girl tied up in my basement who needs some food. That's funny. You funny, pointy man. Yeah, I, I joke around a lot. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. <laughs> hey, you must be a parking ticket, because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> hey there, I don't want to come between you. Or do I? <laughs> well, that's awful. There's a naked lady squatting over a cake in your kitchen. She'll wait. She, she knows to wait. She's your baby. She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. Hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? Who the f starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got... Um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. Oh my god, this is worse. I feel amazing. Like a bride on his wedding day. At last, my love has come along. Don't test me, starling. A census taker did that once, and I ate his liver with dry Cheerios and a mashed up banana. You can't go through here. It's only for people who work for Miss Ryan. You have to let me through. I'm Ed Sheeran. You're not Ed Sheeran. You're a weird looking baby with an English accent. <gasps> oh my god. Right this way, Mr. Sheeran. I can't believe Peter's lost his voice. How's he gonna insult Meg now? Well, I don't know if it's gonna work, but he brought a whiteboard. <laughs> Meg's got the ball. Peter, quick, write something mean. You're doing to this game what R. Kelly did to all the... Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying the rest of that. Ain't that the punchline to an anecdote? <laughs> <laughs> That stall is for the differently abled, you know. Well, how do you know it's not a handicapped person in there? Look, no chair, no crutches. Whoever's in there definitely shouldn't be. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Hey, you mind flush it for me, pal? No arms over here. Well, I suppose it's the least I could do. Oh my god, it's bigger than you! <laughs> well, there's two things you can do from here. Break it off or go full scumbag. If you're interested in going scumbag, I sell a starter kit. It includes a second phone, fake addresses, and some golf shirts. I don't golf. 
Nobody does. Golf was invented purely so husbands can cheat on their wives. A six-hour game in a completely different town where you need special shirts? I, I don't think so. Having a little trouble this morning? No, no, I'm doing great. Look, I already got Stewie and Brian changed. Ow. Daddy, I sort of lost Tatum. You what? I swear it was an accident. Don't worry, Lois. We'll split up and look for her. On it. <laughs> Damn it, Chris, now that's going to be in our Fox promo. Sorry, Sorry Dad. Dad. Tonight on Fox, Chris Griffin meets Chris Griffin? Ah, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is everyone okay? I swallowed my retainer, but I'll do a little stool fishing later. Stewie, everyone is going to die at some point. Everyone. So, like, even me? Yes, even you. You are going to die someday, Stewie. Wow. I guess you learn something new every day, like the Black Eyed Peas. Hey, what's that? This is a guitar. Wow. Hey, Brian, check it out. <sighs> this might be my biggest candy score ever. Probably thanks to my killer costume. What are you dressed as? I'm the Oh My God reaction gif. And people get that? Yeah, everyone's dressed as gifs. Ain't that right, Pop? I'm your mother. I can feel your lies in my ovaries. The doctor said those were cysts. From your lies? They're not gonna talk, Lois. I say we hook them up to the lie detector. Peter, that's not a lie detector. That's a ride-on sex machine. It is? Well, it got me to sing like a bird. Stop rolling it into rooms! Hey, Bon, you busy? Should I get the pump? Oh, no need. Let's do this! Lois Griffin, you are adding spice to that marriage. Wow, look at me, making a difference for those in need. Would you like to add a dollar to your bill to fight cancer? No, I gave a disabled guy an erection. Straight flush. You got a strip. What about tonight? What? Oh, did you say I'm never gonna get out of here? No, I was telling my horse to get naked. What babies think happens in haircuts! So that's how I became Quahog's first ninja cop. Questions? Yes. Mr. Officer Hiya! Did you park in the handicap spot? Ninjas don't have cars. Well, it's getting towed. Oh no! My Chevy Cruze! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pumpkin spice. Sounds like a reject from a female British pop band. Quit tossing your scarf over your shoulder to punctuate your jokes. You know what, Peter? I like me. Look, guess your weight. With a line that long, I'll guess my own weight. 30 minutes. Oh, see you in a few. Got scarfed up. My mama always said life was like a box of good and plenty. Most people just throw it away. We paid a lot of money for that house, and taking the ass end of a shampoo bottle barely makes a dent into their hall. There! Definitive proof that your mother always describes big things as being smaller than they are. Did you hear that, Chris? We've all seen it, Dad. Sorry I put you in a dress, Stewie. We needed a damsel. Hey, do I look upset? Carol! Carol! What is all this noise? I'm trying to buy everything on Amazon in here. Barrel! Ah, my foot! Oh, I think it's broken! Uh-oh, next level! Eh-eh, eh-eh, eh-eh. I can put that whole detention experience behind me and just live. Whoa. Yep, so that's how your granddad got his back tattoo and hepatitis. Never share a needle with Ben Affleck. How did you and other granddaddy meet? That's a story for when you're older. The kids at school were asking if you're a bottom or a top. They should not be asking that. They said if that was your answer, then you were a bottom. Who are these f kids you're talking to? I would like to have a word with their attractive fathers. Can you come upstairs and tell me if this gray chicken smells funny? Be right up, babe. Oh man, this is worse than... Hey, where's Dad? He said he was gonna help me with my science fair project. Up here, kids. Thoughts? We're gonna call you Mr. Skin. Uh, what? Oh, really? Well, 
call you something else. Not only did I not give away your book, I'm launching an investigation, and I'm gonna nail the guy who did it. Uh-huh. And maybe it's more than one guy. Maybe it's a ring. A deep ring I can only penetrate by nailing a bunch of guys. Wait, are you, are you still talking about my book? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's too many guys for me, and I have to bring in a private dick. Close the door on your way out, Brian. I need privacy to think about dicks for hire. We never know what you're gonna do. It's usually silly or dangerous, but it's also kinda awesome. Yeah. Remember when he had tiny arms for like three months? Or when you brought home that horse. Or that falcon. Or that parrot. Lot of illegal animals. Or when that little guy lived in his neck. What the hell was that? Every few years, he fights a giant chicken and destroys a city. No one's named a good thing yet. So now it's 2 a.m., the bars are closed, and we are all still quite divorced. Can you provide us with more alcohol? Uh, I don't know. Let me check the rules. Oh! Ah. I don't know why they wrote the card that way. Are you sure you can't let us in? I'll show you a picture of a naked student. That's my son! Oh, well, I have others. Uh, no, that's him again. Oh, oh, that's also him. Okay, these are all crisp. This, it had Nemo on it. Oh, boy, that, that, is, that is some dream. And he was wearing giant sunglasses. Oh, and we had cats for some reason. Uh-huh. Yep, I backed up all the way into the show before us. Wife talking about her dream. Homer, you've got company. Why are there two sets of prices? One's the Emmy winner discount. Ah. Black coffee and toast, please. Man, Meg being pregnant is almost as bad as when that other lady was pregnant. Remember? The lady with the loose baked eggs rack? Remember her? Peter, that was me. And no way was I worse than this. Well, maybe this will turn out better than you think. Like eating edible underwear in non-sexual situations. I can't believe you chose this for your last meal. Well, I guess we're both shocked today. Hey, you ever check Joe's Facebook? Oh, I know. Awful. Hidden Cheesecake Factory again. So amped. And then the symbol that means wink. Really? I mean, like, why, why the wink? I mean, is, is, there, is there something that we're supposed to be in on? Is, is, is he not going there? Is, is, he, is he not amped? And, and, and who cares if he is? You know? Dick. Coming up. Hey, you sons of bitches. This is Chad. He's my boyfriend. We love each other. We said it and everything. <laughs> A little help. Okay, now to loudly watch this Aaron Sorkin masterclass. Hi, I'm Aaron Sorkin, and I've been paid a lot of money to give you false hope about your ridiculous dream. Trump! 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 Trump!